Hey guys, welcome back to Huga House. Today's video is just a quick walkthrough of some of the fall decor that I've started putting up in my house. Um, I wanted to have this be a kind of see me put decor up as I go, but unfortunately that hasn't worked out. Um, I am super duper pregnant and I've got three little kids, so I'm kind of having to put up my decor gradually rather than in one big, um, decorating day which is a little disappointing I know because um, you can't see the complete transformation from before to after but I do want to share with you some of the areas that I've decorated. I've decorated my coffee bar, I've decorated a tiered tray that's in my kitchen, I have decorated um, a farmhouse hutch and if you haven't watched that video yet I would strongly suggest you go watch that because it has some really cute ideas I think. Um, I did a buffalo check theme on that and if you're interested in the farmhouse style, you will love this video. So please don't uh, click away, please stay and watch. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that thumbs up bell and subscribe. I appreciate your support so much. So let's get right into this video, guys. So starting with the front door, um, another thing that I did a video on recently is this wreath. Uh, this is a pumpkin form wreath definitely go check that out. It is a super simple DIY and I love the way it turned out. It uh, is all with materials from Hobby Lobby and um, I actually picked up this Buffalo Check rug um, and I'm going to switch out this this rug but it's not I feel like it's too early for me to switch out to a fall mat yet so I still have our summer kind of neutral hello goodbye rug and it looks okay for now but I'm definitely going to be replacing that top mat with a fall theme soon and adding some other things to the porch in a later video but this is the front door so I am starting to get some things up and I really like it I like the buffalo check this year and let's go inside so you can see one of the first areas is this entry table. Um, please excuse any kids screaming in the background. It is bath time right now. So my husband is taking care of that. So I can share this with you guys. Um, so the, all the things you see here are from, um, so all the things you see here in this front entryway table are from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, they were having a 40% off sale recently. And I try to keep things very neutral and simple this year. Um, like I said, I am very pregnant. I am due in the middle of September. So I don't want to have to be messing around with putting things up or taking a lot of things down, um, you know, into the fall season. And I didn't put any Halloween stuff up yet. Typically I will do that, but I didn't do that this year because I think I might just go with a fall theme that can stay up from now until after Thanksgiving. And uh, these are just little floral picks. And I already had these ball jars on the wall. Um, so I like these ball jars because I mean, this came all together. These are from Amazon, the ball jars and the wooden plank. They came from Amazon. They do light up. I don't typically light them up very often, but they have fairy lights inside. So you can do that if you want, but uh, it is convenient because I can just buy picks to match the season. And I also just have a hook here so that I can trade out signs depending on the season too. And I just liked the rustic look of this one and the tin. And here I just have some super cute, simple fabric pumpkins. Uh, and this is something I picked up at Hobby Lobby some time ago. It's just really convenient because I can switch this out for the seasons. I can put whatever decor I want on it and it just adds like an extra nice little touch. And I just couldn't resist this little leaf with the Hello Fall on it. I just think it's super festive and cute and matches with the rustic theme that I've got going on on the front table. So I will just quickly go over into this front room where the farmhouse hutches. 
please excuse the mess. This is real life, guys. Um, but again, this is in a video. I think it's about two or three videos back, but um, you can watch me in action putting this together. But I went with a buffalo check theme. I am still adding to this as I go along and moving some things around. But I picked up most of the stuff from Hobby Lobby at 40% off. Um, love this garland. I wish it showed a little bit more, but I am still, like I said, moving things around. Um, and I like it so far, but I've got some more pumpkins and things that could probably go in here. And I actually painted this farmhouse hutch uh, I think about three years ago, it was a hand-me-down hutch from a friend who got it as a hand-me-down from her grandma or her aunt. And it was, no offense, one of those hideous 1970s um, orange oak looking things. And it was a labor of love, but I did chalk paint and I aged it. Um, and I also did, I didn't do wax over this. I'm pretty sure I did the like lacquer coat that you can do over chalk paint. It did take me a really long time, but I absolutely love this piece and it's so fun to decorate for the seasons. So let's move on to the other areas. So one of the things I have done in here is the tiered tray. This tiered tray is from Hobby Lobby. I change it out um, with the seasons. So it's always right here on our island. Um, I had spring stuff on here for a really long time because of COVID and not being able to go to the store and just being kind of in a rut. But I finally switched stuff out and um, all of these pumpkins you see here are actually from the Target Dollar Spot over the years. Um, they will always have their fall stuff. And so these are usually like one or $3 depending on the size. And I actually just, uh, these are three separate ones right here. And I just stacked them on top of each other because they have a hole in the bottom. So um, I thought it looked cute like that. Add a little bit of playfulness. And these hay bales, I want to say I got the smaller hay bale from the Dollar, Street, Dollar Tree. And this one is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And the little toy truck is another uh, Target dollar spot find from previous years. This Hello Fall sign is from last year from Hobby Lobby, as well as this Gather Bead Garland. And I just like the, I like this green with, I guess, this tan tone, whether that's in like wood or the raffia or whatever twine. Um, I just like that color combo. I think it's really pretty. And this is actually from Walmart. It's just some fake stems from Walmart. Walmart has some really quality fall stems, if you ask me. In general, I think they have good floral stems for a good price. And this little blessed blessings um, vase is super cute. And other items I have on here are a little lantern, which is from the Target Dollar Spot. I couldn't tell you which season it's from. I feel like they have these out quite a bit for different seasons, um, but they're really versatile. They're a good filler. Uh, they look cute. You could pop a little tea light. I probably wouldn't do a real candle in there, but you could do a tea light in there and add some light at night it would look really cute this bird is from hobby lobby from previous years and this um little pedestal is actually pink they have white ones like this i just don't really care enough to buy a white one this pink one is actually from around valentine's day at hobby lobby and it's just to add some height so that the bird is visible because if he were down here you wouldn't be able to see him very well so that's what I'm using there. And then over here, I have my coffee bar, which I actually worked on today. 
And I had hoped to show you guys um, me arranging this in action, but like I said, that didn't work out. So I'm working with what I've got. Uh, but I went to Hobby Lobby today and I picked up this tray. And I really, really like this tray. I wanted something that would hold our um, spinning rack for the coffee pods, as well as the sugar, Ray Dawn sugar and cream. I have just stevia in here actually, and some of the hot cocoa flavored uh, kisses for my kids, and a little Target dollar spot pumpkin from previous years. I was gonna go with a tiered tray here, but I felt like I was getting a little crazy with the tiered tray since I have one um, on the island that I just showed you. And I just think it looks really nice. The rustic look really looks really nice with the table that I'm using for the coffee bar. And this table is actually also from Hobby Lobby. I think I bought it about two or three years ago. And I was searching and searching for a table that would fit in this space. It's kind of a narrower space, so I needed something smaller, uh, but with plenty of storage. And the two drawers on this table are perfect for, we just have like tea, um, cleaner things for our uh, Keurig, etc. So it's convenient for us. Uh, here I am displaying my Ray Dunn mugs. This is just a fraction of the Ray Dunn mugs that I own. I tried to pick the um, fall themed ones. I don't have a ton of like neutral fall themed ones. I do have a lot of Halloween ones and I may put those up as we get closer to Halloween. But this year I decided to go totally different with the coffee bar. Previous years I have done Halloween theme on the coffee bar from the time I first decorate in September or whatever until Halloween. And I, again, just didn't want to have to do two decorating rounds. I want to just be able to take this stuff down and put up Christmas when it comes to being um, the end of fall season. So after Thanksgiving. So other things I have on this coffee bar are these little thankful and grateful pumpkins. I liked the kind of gold metallic theme. They had it arranged at Hobby Lobby kind of that way. So I purchased those today. This coppery pumpkin I actually purchased last year at Hobby Lobby. So I thought it went nicely with just the general gold theme. This sign here, Home Sweet Cozy Home, is also from Hobby Lobby. I got that, I think, over the summer. And Hobby Lobby's always having sales. If you know Hobby Lobby, they constantly have rotations of 50% off. Right now, stuff is 40% off for the fall. So just wait for a sale and you will be able to get a deal at Hobby Lobby. And no, I am not a Hobby Lobby spokesperson. I just... I love Hobby Lobby. I love the farmhouse style, so I have a lot of luck there. So moving up, I also purchased this Fall Sweet Fall sign at Hobby Lobby today, and that was 40% off as part of their fall decor. The Hello Fall sign there is also from Hobby Lobby. The little ball of cotton, I am unsure where I got that from, as well as the pedestal it's sitting on. It's probably Hobby Lobby, but it could be could be somewhere else. Um, the little pedestal that the pumpkin right here is sitting on is actually from the Target Dollar Spot. I think it was around Valentine's Day that they had these little pedestals. I always try to pick those up whenever they have those as part of the Target Dollar Spot merchandise, just because they're so convenient to provide elevation, height, height variation. Um, the teapot is obviously a Ray Dawn piece, and the little pedestal it's on is from Hobby Lobby. And then finally, the little truck and the pitcher and floral arrangement in the pitcher are all from Hobby Lobby. So a lot of Hobby Lobby stuff. I did go to TJ Maxx. Fortunately, my TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stores like that are really sparse right now. So, to go where they had stuff. Like I said, it worked out for me. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, I just wanted to give you a sneak peek, give you some ideas for the fall. If you're starting to think about your fall decor, I know that fall is my favorite time of year. I love decorating for fall. Um, I, I probably prefer to decorate for fall over Christmas, um, which some people might think is crazy, but I just love the fall season. I love everything about it. I, of course, love decorating for Christmas, but fall is just so fun. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for the next video. Bye, guys.